Hey everyone, Joel here, and today we're in Canton, Texas, or Canton, Texas, which is about an hour, hour and 10 minutes east of Dallas. Um, I am here. We are actually just at the world famous, or the Canton famous, world's biggest flea market. Yes, world's biggest flea market. They have a flea market which is literally 100 acres. It's huge. I'll put some footage at the end of the video. But why we are here, the main reason is to do the Canton hot dog eating contest. That's right. So the Canton Chamber of Commerce puts on a hot dog eating contest, which is sponsored by Sonic. So it's 4th of July, and they're having a hot dog eating contest. Very, very, very suiting. Um, congratulations to all my friends who competed at Nathan's Day. I'm going to now go eat some hot dogs. So I'm in a little bit of a rush, so I'm going to talk quick. Visit when I have 10 minutes to eat all the hot dogs you can. It is Nathan's Rules. So 10 minutes, all you can eat hot dogs. Dunking's allowed. Um, they are Sonic hot dogs. And that's kind of it. Uh, you, you can like, don't, you can't touch the food before the timer starts. Um, once you like touch the food, then, or like you can't, uh, after the time is up, you can't touch any more food, it's only what's in your mouth. You need 20 seconds to clear it. Official Nathan's rules, it's not really cool. But anyway, yeah, that's about it. So uh, the prizes, I know they're gonna be like 500 bucks for first. I think they're 250 for second, which is awesome. I think prize pack for third. Um, I've seen a couple of uh, individuals I met last year before, um, so it should be a lot of fun. But anyway, let's go eat some food. Let's have some fun. Hot dog contest. I really, I haven't eaten hot dogs like like this style, like dunking and everything, in a whole year. Um, there will be dunking. Heads up, everybody. This is definitely a Nathan style hot dog contest. But uh, that's about it. You've been warned. Let's have some fun. Let's eat some food. Hey, everyone. Real quick, I want to thank sponsor of this video being Kami Koto. Kami Koto makes great kitchen knives using traditional techniques from Japan using only Japanese steel, that being steel sourced from mills in Japan. Each knife and each knife set comes in a beautiful heavy duty ash wood box, which makes it a great gift because it's already wrapped and packed beautifully. Seriously, just look at that presentation. That is definitely what you want to give somebody. Of course, they have a vast array of different Japanese steel knives, and each knife actually goes through a 19-step process, which takes years. It has a single bevel, and you can maintain the edge of your blades using one of Kamikoto's sharpening whetstones, and the quality, sharpness, and durability is unmatched. In fact, Kamikoto is so confident that they actually give a lifetime guarantee, which makes perfect sense why several chefs use Kamikoto knives in Michelin star restaurants. The knives are absolutely just stunning, truly, truly beautiful, professional. The packaging is fantastic. And I can honestly say I have never used or held such a nicely weighted and sharp knife. Oh my gosh, this thing is crazy fantastic when I'm using it. Kamikoto actually has a big sale going on right now. And if you use the code Joel, you can actually save $50 on any purchase. So click that link down below and use the coupon code Joel to save $50 today. So whether it's for yourself or for a gift, everybody needs a good quality knife set in their life. So Kamikoto is definitely the way to go. So without a run, let's get to the rest of the video. All the way from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, his favorite Sonic drink is Diet Cherry Lamey. Would you please welcome Model versus Food, Joel Henson. <laughs> this competition has a 10 minute time limit. All right, crowd, why don't you help me count down from 10 to get this competition started. Starting with 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, begin! Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here in Canton at the hot dog eating contest. So, very straightforward, basically dunking is allowed, you can eat the hot dogs by any means necessary essentially, you can separate the buns and the actual hot dog itself, um, and all you can eat in 10 minutes. Whoever eats the most was going to get a $500 cash prize, second place was getting $250, and then third place was getting um, a Sonic prize pack, and this contest was sponsored by the uh, Sonic there in Canton and the Canton Chamber of Commerce. Um, so huge thank you to them for putting on this contest. And so let's get into the details of kind of the hot dogs, the food, and the day, um, kind of all the surroundings, which you know really do impact a contest. Yes, a lot of things impact a contest. <laughs> All right, one minute down, nine minutes to go. 
So depending how hot dogs are cooked can really impact a contest because if they're like overcooked and really chewy then it can be more difficult. But these I think were cooked really nicely. Um, the hot dogs were you know obviously cooked and they were obviously a hot dog but for a hot dog they weren't overly chewy, overly gummy. The buns were nice and soft still, they were not dried out so they did a great job handling the food. All contestants are staying in there strong so far. There were actually only four individuals in the contest this year, um, and this was their second year doing it. First year they did it in 2020, second year being 2021, um, but it's a really cool event. I really like Canton, there's a lot of cool footage about Canton at the end of this video, so you're definitely going to want to stick around, you're definitely going to be able to you know, want to check that out, to just see how cool Canton is. Two minutes down, eight minutes to go, we're moving along really strong here. So I've never really trained hot dogs. Hot dogs are definitely a technique food. Yes, obviously you need to have the volume, you need to have the ability to kind of push through and eat, but definitely hot dogs are a technique food. So I was doing a one-in-one -one technique, um, and at first I was having a lot of difficulty because again, the last time I actually ate hot dogs at all like this was at this contest in 2020. So at first I was grabbing the hot dog, I was grabbing the bun, um, but the way I would uh, soak the bun and the way I would uh, grab the bun, I had to wring it out with two hands at the start, which was not working as well. It was ultimately slowing me down a little bit, um, you know, just like that, if you saw that. So I had the hot dog and then I kind of had to slow it down or, or uh, wring it out, I'd say, with two hands, so which ultimately was slowing me down a little bit. Um, optimal technique is that you can wring it out with one hand and uh, you know eat the hot dog with one hand eat the bun with one hand and I guess I'll, I'll even go down to the most basic uh, hot dog structure if you guys are not familiar um, so the basic hot dog technique that I'm doing here is you grab you know you take your dominant hand you grab the hot dog or the wiener and then you grab the bun with your opposing hand you take that hand with the bun and shove it into the water like I am there and then you eat the hot dog and then you basically take the bun after it's been dunked you kind of wring it out a little bit or not wring it out a bit depends on much moisture you want to consume and you put that in your mouth and you essentially use the terminology drink the bun you use the liquid from the bun to help the hot dog uh, go down Four minutes down and six minutes remaining in our hot dog eating contest. Our defending champion Joel Hansen seems to be pulling away at this point, but we still have six minutes to go. Anything can happen. So while this technique was working pretty good, I was, uh, again, kind of needing to figure that out, how I could wring the buns out with one hand. Um, and as it kind of went on, I was starting to get my groove by about this point. You know, being a couple minutes in, I was kind of identifying, okay, if I grab the bun with my, like, really, I, I have smaller hands, but if I really kind of grab the bun, I can kind of get it in there. I can wring it out a little bit more. Um, so I was trying to, like, Again, find my kind of technique as I was doing the contest. So it was kind of, I tr kind of tried a few things and it was kind of changing, you know, little by little. Five minutes remaining. We are now halfway through our hot dog eating contest. Five minutes down, five minutes to go. A reminder, Joey Chestnut ate 76 hot dogs earlier today at Nathan's competition at Coney Island. I just kept motoring ahead though 100% at all, like as much as I could because I didn't want to slip up. Like I said, I was finding myself stumbling with a few of these techniques and there's even a couple times where I stumbled like um, 
I was either gonna like dunk the the actual hot dog itself once or twice um, like things I just wasn't uh, you know I wasn't thinking again I, I really hadn't practiced hot dogs and something that I should have done for this contest but you know with these small micro adjustments I was changing as we went on four minutes remaining four minutes let's cheer them on I do feel that it was getting uh, better at least bit by bit um, so yeah, pretty much people sometimes ask things like, how is it to eat a hot dog like this? And well, I don't think anybody has ever said their favorite condiment on a hot dog is water, but it is what it is, you know? Um, and, and then the funny thing is at this point, if you noticed, you're going to start seeing me have my eyes closed. Well, I tell you what, it's, uh, although I was definitely focused and I was definitely uh, really just kind of giving it. I actually ended up getting hot dog juice in my eyes. I splashed hot dog or bun juice in my eyes, and so they were kind of burning, to be honest. So there was uh, kind of this whole duration, um, pretty much now for the next little bit. You're gonna notice I have my eyes closed until eventually I try to uh, open them and wipe them out a little bit. Once I felt, um, you know, kind of comfortable, because at this point it was still a very close race. The gentleman on stage with me, uh, Ben and Albert, were definitely both giving it, and they were doing a really good job. Um, so you know, I had to have, give respect to them, and uh, you know, they were like I said, they were really crushing it, and they were right with me at the beginning. Um, and so I definitely wanted to kind of, you say, get a comfortable lead um, before I started to uh, do anything which would take away from me eating. Um, you know that's basically it before I stopped anything or start anything that would take away from me eating I just wanted to really uh, focus um, and get the uh, get as many hot dogs in as possible to try to make a distance before I started to fondle and uh, again really try to clear my eyes out because I was just like I mean don't get me wrong obviously I had to open them for micro glimpses just to uh, get the to pick up see what I was picking up but my eyes were just absolutely burning with hot dog water so don't put it in your eyes kids all right ladies and gentlemen boys and girls this is the two minute warning two minutes to go in our hot dog eating competition that means nobody has a timeout remaining and all replays will come from the booth <laughs> So at this point in the contest, with only two minutes left. Obviously, there's still very much like physical aspect. You're still forcing yourself to eat and going through everything, but it really becomes mental. Um, this is like your body doesn't want to eat. It's a lot of uh, exertion. It is a lot of everything. Um, so again, I, no I did notice that I got a bit of a lead, so there I figured I could wipe my eyes out. But I still wanted to keep it going. Um, you know, hey, ten minutes. I figured I'd give it. And uh, although you're know, definitely getting more difficult, so of course the eating gets slower, um, and that's just what eating is. Eating is never linear. You always slow down um, the fuller that you get. Ladies and gentlemen, one minute remaining, and I just want to say, and down the stretch they come. But that, that's pretty much kind of all the info, kind of I think all the background you need to have for today. Ultimately, I will let you get to the rest of the video. A 10 minute hot dog contest is, it's a difficult contest, you know, it is a 10 minutes of, well, a really um, a high exertion um, and definitely a physical, uh, physical contest. The only other thing I was going to do at the end that I figured is I would try to um, chipmunk uh, a couple buns and um, you know kind of get the wiener dance first and chipmunk the buns so that's what I'm doing now and uh, I'll let you get to the rest of the video It's a big round of applause. What a tremendous effort by everyone. We'll have the results for you here in just a little bit. Oh hey, and by the way, if you liked the video so far, hit that like button down below. It helps YouTube know that you like the content and it'll help share it with others. And by the way, why risk missing an upload? I have many uploads a week, and I know you want to watch them all, and I want you to watch them all, and I want to hear from you in the comments. So hit that subscribe button down below as well, and uh, comment, what's your favorite hot dog topping? Mine is definitely not water. We are ready to announce the first, second, and third prize 
Winners in the 2021 Canton, Texas Chamber of Commerce Hot Dog Eating Contest sponsored by Sonic. Let's start by recognizing our third place winner with a total of 21 hot dogs, Albert Bravo. He is the devourer. Our second place winner with a total of 23 hot dogs, Benjamin Welch. He wins $250. And now, our 2021 champion, our defending champion, has successfully come back to Canton this year to win his second title in a row, eating a total of 45 hot dogs. Let's welcome our defending champion and new champion, Joel Hanson. So thank you to the great people of Canton, thank you to the great people of Texas, thank you to Kayla for filming, and to that everybody, thank you so much, I hope you enjoyed the video, and lots more cool, cool, cool footage of Canton to come. To share with us. Absolutely, so first off, thank you so much everybody for coming out. Um, Canton is a hell of a place. I was here last year, I said I'd have to come back. I saw the, like, the first Monday, I experienced some of it, some of it today for the first time. You guys rock, like, mm -hmm. Canton's a place to be. I love Texas, it's the best place in the world, Canton is just exceptional. And uh, until next time everybody, I want to thank you so much for everything, really appreciate all y'all, and I hope you have a happy 4th of July. Thanks so much. Alright everyone, we have officially made to Canton, so here we have what is the Buffalo Girls Hotel. That is where we are going to be staying, the Buffalo Girls Hotel. We also have Calvin Mike's General Store inside the Buffalo Girls Hotel. And so now, they're also over here called the Mountain. See this mountain? This is a big little area where we have gun fights. I'm not sure what that's going to entail. But we also have then live entertainment. We have karaoke, late night shopping, which means 10 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. And we're very lucky that today it is a Saturday. So there's all kinds of little shops like this, little boutiques, obviously, and they go they go all the way up, all the way up there. A variety of different eateries and products and everything. How you doing? More variety of shops. Very cool looking, all very distinct. You gotta buy your CBD. Heading further up the mountain, we got the Shrek outhouse. We have Western Edge knife shops coming up here. There's arts on some of these buildings. Here we have a little wine bar, which is pretty cool. Definitely a, definitely a unique spot. I don't know if there's anything more up here. Some other little businesses I'm gonna say I'm gonna go out on a limb and saying they're probably not operating right now oh look we got a bar up there that's open up on the hill. that's one that the music's coming to that's what the lady was talking about she said up up way on the hill is where they could oh, be. well we better go check it out we have some general stores some confectionery stores here we got just I don't even know what this is Catalan home on the range and again just the shops just kind of keep going on there's quite a few of them to be honest it's Pretty impressive. And here we are getting up to the bar, uh, which live music, there's a lady singing. And then what's interesting is there's like a couple different uh, places to stay. Like this is another like, this one's called Hideway Suites. Somewhere up there is advertising also vacancy. So pretty interesting. Definitely a, a unique spot. I never thought I'd be visiting and I have no complaints. Pretty, it's a hell of an experience. And here we have a bar, and we are at the hottest, the hottest, hottest, hottest spot on the mountain here in Canton, Texas. We've got some karaoke going on. They're just doing some dancing. Let's see if uh, what song we got going right now. Away as you wait in anticipation. But a uh, pretty big spot, quite a few people here. I mean, it is a uh, Saturday night after all. The 3rd of July, the day before uh, 4th of July. Oh, we are going some Bon Jovi. There's people up there all the way. 
Let's hear this lady break it down. I'll have to cut some of this out because of copyright. Well, let's hear her sing. All right, and here we are. There is, again, there's thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of vendors. We had everything like food items. You have clippers. You had like switch blades. You have whiskey barrel stuff. Uh, there's literally everything and anything you can imagine. And it's also split up into multiple pavilions. Oh, there you go, wrong way. Multiple pavilions, so there's like different areas where you go park um, and you can walk through. There is just way so many stuff. There's like a salsa place. And here they even have puppies. They have a, what they call dog town. You get all kinds of puppies here. More puppies over there. Like literally lots and lots of places selling puppies. Of course, and they have hot dogs over there. A little different, little type of dog. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, they got everything. I see lots of people with plants, lots of plants, some areas and good stuff. And if you walk in this, you just happen to have a counter full of puppies at all times, which is pretty cool. Obviously a lot more in the back, got some corgis being a little feisty and Aussie doodles and all the above. Hi, buddy. This is a Zabu. Here we have Zabu's. Zabu. Anyone know that song? Shut up below. We got goats. We have, uh, I think it's a miniature horse. Maybe this is a donkey, maybe? Uh, or mini horse? Mini horse, I guess. Hey, buddy. Got chickens in there. We'll have to take a stroll on in. Mini donkey and baby. I think we were missing that. Oh, maybe this is it. Here we go. Mini donkey and baby. We got a pig. Got some, uh, I want to say llamas or alpacas. Got a, or no, that's a donkey as well. I was wrong. We got lots of little animals here. Oh, here's some cats. Oh yeah, here's pigs. All the little piggy pigs. We have bacon. We have some guinea pigs. Some ducks. Some little chickens. Some roosters. Here we got another another puppy. Hey puppy. It's a friendly puppy. Got some Muscovy ducks. Some silky chickens, some more pigs. Yeah, we got, got everything. Little German Shepherd things. More puppies. Turkeys. Geese. Some big geese. Some goats. Everything. Lots of people out here enjoying the 4th of July weekend. Dang now it, cat. You're gonna be now on the menu next week if you don't shut up. So everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.